customer wants a salad with bean sprouts and alfalfa sprouts on a bed of shredded lettuce. Is he here to eat lunch or graze? I don't care if he smokes it as long as he pays the check. I'll ask him if he'd like me to put it on a plate or in a feed bag, okay? Butu, Kimbi, stay with the caravan. All right, all your germs, bite the dust. Come on now. Die, you little bugger. Die. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know the hamburger. Freeze right there. Drop it. Drop it! Spread those buns! Spread the buns! <laughs> All right, I have a right to read your rights. You have a right to remain bacillus. Hey, wait, hey, 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 hey! You saw him that germ pulled a gun. You saw him? Come on! What are you doing? There. Will you cut it out? Well, Wendy's going to the hospital. I have to kill all the germs. Stop! Stop! Hey, you behind the gherkin. Breathe it! Ha, ha! There's another streptococcus. I bet the small one. <laughs> Sorry, I can't leave yet. Hold on one second. Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. There aren't any germs in here. <laughs> of course there are no germs in here after my spritzkrieg. <laughs> in the name of Louis Pasteur, I... Wait a minute. I've just committed germicide. <laughs> oh, no. You must have millions of little germs at home going, Where's Daddy? <laughs> and more. What'd you do to your hair? Well, I cut off all the germy parts. It was cheaper than having it cleaned. <laughs> Is it safe yet? What is going on here? I am going to have my tonsils out, and Mork has been running or driving me crazy. Minnie, 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 you shouldn't talk. You should rest your tonsils for the coming out party. I'll translate for you. You're going into the hospital. Yes. Minnie, Minnie. It is true that Miss McConnell is going into the hospital for a treatment of the knuckle infection. But soon, she'll be back to her old uninfected self and back to being so cute and adorable and chicks alike. Well, Mindy, there's nothing to worry about. A lot of people have their tonsils out. Yeah, I had mine out in the first grade. Yeah, he was only 14. <laughs> So I was old for my age. Did you put them under the pillow for the tonsil fairy? No. I don't believe in that stuff. I just put them in a jar. <laughs> well, actually, look, getting your tonsils out, it's a breeze. That's right. It's a very simple procedure. Right. Yeah, most of the doctors know what they're doing. Most of the doctors? Mindy, I'll handle this. Most of the doctors? <laughs> You see, they got losers in every profession. Like, I had an electrician out here six times to fix that lamp, and it's still broken. Now, imagine if that was your heart. Thanks, Remo. You know, Remo, uh, I don't think she wants to hear all this. Oh, come on. You come home from med school with all those funny stories. Tell them the one about the doctor who left the instruments inside the patient. It's good. Uh, that really happened? Well, they'd have never found out, but the guy goes disco dancing and gives himself an appendectomy. <laughs> You know, occasionally accidents do happen, but not often, not enough to let it upset you. <laughs> Thank you very much. I think I'll go check myself into the hospital before you two change my mind. Good luck. Don't no worry about it. We're going to come visit you. Well, kid, break a larynx. <laughs> Thanks. Well, don't worry, man. Hey, when you have your tonsils up, I'll whittle you some wooden tonsils, and we'll put a little scarecrow on your tongue to scare away the woodpeckers. <laughs> If that doesn't work, you just have a voice like this. <laughs> Seven thousand and forty-seven. What are you counting? I'm timing to see how long it's been since I buzzed for the nurse. <laughs> well, there's got to be some way to get a nurse in here. Yeah, sure. Just fall asleep and she'll come in and wake you up. <laughs> Min. Hi. Ah. <laughs> how are you feeling? Oh. Right. I brought you a little something just to show that I was thinking of you. <laughs> Look, a brain. <laughs> no, actually, it's a flower. <laughs> it's the biggest one I could find. It is a big one. <laughs> Hope you have a short, fat vase. <laughs> Either that or I can wear it behind your ear. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> well, are you fixed yet? <laughs> And he's never been the same since. No, I'm only having my tonsils out. Well, that's what my mother said they were doing to the cat. <laughs> the operation isn't until tomorrow. Oh, oh Susie, this is Mark. Hi. Uh, no, 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 no bite-sized person. <laughs> the hospital's low on space, so they put me in the children's ward. Oh, I couldn't tell. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
honey, are you ready for your test? Yeah, I thought I was supposed to have him over an hour ago. Oh, sorry. I'm the only nurse working three floors tonight. You're the only nurse? Yeah, a lot of nurses are out sick. I guess there's something going around. Yeah. Well, I gotta go and work. I gotta have some more blood tests. Well, good luck, man. I hope you pass. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want anyone cheat and look over your shoulder and see your corpuscles. <laughs> Oh, I bet you I know what ward he's from. <laughs> no, he's just visiting. Oh, then you ought to be leaving. Visiting hours are almost over. Oh. Bye. Bye, man. Good luck. Be careful. Well, well, actually, I'm not really worried at all. I mean, she told me she had the best doctor. Well, my mom told me I had the best doctor. Whoa. If everyone has the best doctor, then where do all the dead people come from? <laughs> well, I don't know. Maybe the stork brings them. Is this your first time in the hospital? No, it's my second. The first time I was born. Oh, what are you in for now? I did a dumb thing. I swallowed my bubble pipe. <laughs> How'd you do that? Well, you see, it's like this. I was jumping rope, and then... It wasn't a pretty picture. <laughs> now I'm all full of bubbles. If you push my stomach, you could probably feel them. Oh, no way. I saw Alien. <laughs> Mind if I make myself at home here? Sure. Hey. <laughs> well, you know, back where I come from, we don't have hospitals. We just have a little building you drive up to, and you, you tell your elements into a little clown face, and out comes a pill. <laughs> a dog in the box. You can. <laughs> so, how are they going to get that bubble pipe out of you? It beats me. I guess they'll have to cut me open. <laughs> cut you open. Ha, 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 ha. Ah, seriously, how are they going to get that bubble pipe out of there? No, really. They'll have to cut me open and take out whatever's giving me trouble. Cut you open. <laughs> you uh -huh. uh, maybe I should stay here and protect Mindy. That might be good. I think either that'll shove her insides on the outside and she might get her liver caught in her pantyhose. <laughs> Everything important. Besides, it won't hurt. They knock you out first. Who does? The guys with the masks. The masks? Whoa, Kimosabi. <laughs> Why do they do that? Well, maybe they don't want you to see who goofs up. Oh. Oh, are you still here? <laughs> You're right, they are goofy. I'm here and she doesn't even know it. <laughs> Visiting hours are over. No, no, no. I'm going to stay here and protect Mindy. But I've seen a lot of strange things happening in this place. I assure you that Mindy will get excellent treatment. Well, are you sure you're not going to cut her open and auction off her innards? I've seen my little bottles, you know. No, 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 you have my word. All right, well, well just because I care for her a lot, I mean, she's like a brother to me. Oh, uh, don't worry. Your brother Mindy will be fine just as soon as she comes out from under the knife. The knife? Knives, masks. What's the name of this hospital? Our Lady of Central Park? <laughs> I've got to go. All right. <laughs> Dr. Newman, please. Please report to pediatrics. Yeah. Me and it's moi, Mork. Still in one piece? Uh -huh. I think she's sleeping. Susie, boy, you've been through some changes. Min, Min, <laughs> Min, wake up! You don't want to sleep through your operation. <laughs> oh. You're not Min. What happened to Min? I mean, what's going on here, Min? Who's, who's Mindy? You're a strange man. Not as strange as people who work in this place. <laughs> Min, for Susie, and then what happened to Mom? What's going on here? This is very strange. What are you talking about? Well, don't you understand? Confused babble. <laughs> What are you doing here? Where's Mindy? There's no Mindy here. Uh, you must be in the wrong room. No, she's got to be here. I mean, she was here yesterday. Oh, well, I wouldn't know. See, I broke my wrist yesterday. I had to go out and get it fixed. Why didn't you have it fixed here? Here? <laughs> <laughs> you got to be kidding. <laughs> but this has got to be the same room. There's a the flower I brought her. <laughs> well, OK. What's her name and her age? Uh, Mindy McConnell. Age 23. <laughs> uh, she has two good arms. Sorry. Um. You see, that's where you went wrong. No, sir, this is the children's wing. We have no big people staying here. Well, if she's not here, then she, she's lost. Oh, now, please don't worry. Even if she is, she's bound to turn up sooner or later. I hope it's sooner than later, because she needs a tonsillectomy. 
Oh, dear. Well, I hope she hasn't been confused with, with somebody else. Why? <laughs> well, if that's what has happened, there's a good chance she might get the wrong operation. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, oh. no, 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 no. Oh, not again, not after last week. No. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's certainly a crazy place to work. You know, <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, sir, I'll try to help you with the problem. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, we do have a number of nurses who don't speak English. So, just be patient and point to where you're bleeding. <laughs> yes, Miss Shayevsky? Uh, Mr. Burnett, there's a gentleman to see you. He seems very upset. You gotta help me. You gotta find Mindy. Is this him? Mm-hmm. Are you the administrator? Uh, yes, I am. Well, here it is. You want it, you got it. Dollar bill? Yes, I talked to everyone in the hospital, and they say the buck stops here. Uh, look, <laughs> just calm down. We're not going to get anywhere if you don't speak slowly and clearly. Yes, I think you're right. Yes, of course. Now, what seems to be the problem? Well, uh, things are going right, things are going too no, well. No, wait, 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 wait. I, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, well, I brought my friend Mindy here for a simple operation, and now she's gone. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. I'm sure we did all we could. Well, no, she hasn't gone belly up. She's just gone, she's disappeared, lost. We lost a patient? Well, she must be somewhere in the building. I mean, how far can she get in bare feet and a gown that opens down the back? <laughs> I'm sure everything will be fine. Really? Oh, really, yes. Miss Shayevsky, when you get time, would you just get our lawyers on the phone? Why don't you just say, the eagle has landed? <laughs> Again? Ixnay. <laughs> aren't you going to do something? Aren't you, aren't you going to organize a posse, get out the tonsil-sniffing dogs, things like that? Oh, in good time. Uh, but before we get started, there is a little paperwork to uh, take care of. <laughs> Would you just sign this form, please? What is this, a missing persons form? Well, not exactly. It's just a formality which basically says that uh, no matter what's happened, the hospital isn't held responsible. <laughs> But you are responsible. She didn't lose herself. Uh, well, I don't blame you for being upset. But these things happen. I mean, this is a very big place. We have a lot of halls. Oh, you're not kidding. A lot of wards. I mean, it's like a maze. I mean, here a ward, there a ward, everywhere a ward, ward. I mean, every time I got out of the elevator, there were patients. Someone calling Dr. Fine, calling Dr. Fine. He doesn't answer his calls. Tell me, all the doctors are missing, too, aren't they? Aren't they? <laughs> Try to see this from my point of view, will you? They don't give me enough staff. They don't give me enough money. All they give me is the challenge to help people. What about finding my friend? Now you have a challenge, too. <laughs> <laughs> but before you go, would you sign this form? I can't help you until you do. You mean you're gonna leave her lost until I let you off the hook? Hey, fella, I don't make the rule. Well, yeah. all right. I'm taking this with me. And this buck's not gonna stop until I find Mindy. You can't find her now. Visiting hours are over. Well, but rescuing hours have just begun. Well, what about my form? Take your form and file it. <laughs> You're in your room, Mrs. McDonald. McDonald? <laughs> now, let's take another one of these little pinky drinkies and then we can rest. Oh. I'm too tired to rest. I don't feel good. Here. Here you go. <sighs> now, soon you're going to have that brain operation, and then your headaches will just disappear. <laughs> <laughs> now you can lie back and rest. <laughs> well, I'm starting to feel better already. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye. Don't worry. Brain surgery isn't as bad as it sounds. Ooh. It is noisy, though. <laughs> oh, hello, Doctor. Hello there, Siggy. <laughs> doctor, I hate to complain, but nobody came by this afternoon to change my dressing. Oh, dressing? Are you kidding? That gown is you. <laughs> it goes perfectly good with that little hat. All you need now is some feathers, some rhinestones, and nine tanner leaves. <laughs> 
have a very funny bedside manner. Well, I always believe that a good doctor leaves his patient in stitches. <laughs> I used to love a good laugh. Oh, doctor, you know what? What? <laughs> Minnie, 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 you're awake. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Actually, uh, this is the best type of physical therapy. It uh, gives the patient something, something to live for. <laughs> oh, Miss McConnell, we'll have you out of here in a fribbit. <laughs> a fribbit? Yes, a medical term meaning uh, sorry with the fringe on top. <laughs> that girl's name isn't McConnell. It's McDonald. No, no, no. Uh, my dear lady, I'm a doctor. I don't make mistakes unless it's a matter of life and death or a bill. <laughs> The nurse who was just here said, that's Mrs. McDonald. She's in here for brain surgery. No, no, she's in here to have her tonsils out. I guess it depends on how deep they drill. Yeah. Mindy! Min! Hello. Mindy! Me, me, me. <laughs> oh, no, they got you, too. Oh, Min. I mean, all my life I've been getting you into trouble. Now I've gotten you in the biggest trouble of all, and there's nothing I can do about it. Oh, come on, Min. Hello. Min. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Whoa. It's all physical therapy. Min, Min. Min, here we go. Okay, whoa, make a wish. Here we go. There we go. No, bad view. Doctor, what are you doing? I was just checking for lumps. <laughs> uh, Min, we have to get this patient out of here right away. Well, since that patient is having brain surgery in two hours. Oh, you mean you haven't done anything to her yet? Of course not. I just came in to shave her head. Oh, no. Don't you shave one hair on her chin. <laughs> Hello. Min, Min. 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 No, Mindy's mean. What's up, Doc? <laughs> Min, 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 cough. Okay, Min, Min, it's me, look, I dress like a, because I was looking for you. Well, I think that I'm over there. <laughs> uh, very fun, Min. Let's get you out here before they turn your head into a planter. Oh. Come on. They wouldn't do that to old Mindy. What's my last name again? McDonald. E-I-E-I-O. <laughs> She's just a little delirious. I just gave her a sedative. Her name isn't McDonald, it's McConnell. <laughs> you know, you look very familiar. Well, you assisted me last week in that lip transplant for Mick Jagger. Remember that? <laughs> well, I re-diagnosed this patient and her brain is cleared up. <laughs> See you later. Let's go, Mick. No, I mean, you Wow, that's a great ride. <laughs> Sometimes you get sick on Ferris wheels. Oh, that's wonderful. There we go. <laughs> Man, I think I can take you home. I'll take those tonsils out there. Let's go. There we go. <laughs> Let's go, man. You danced violently from your off. Well, ah! Hello. Hi. Hello. What is going on here? And here you halfway down the hall. Oh, Dr. Roland, I'm so glad you're here. That doctor is behaving very strange. <laughs> Doctor, I think you should put that patient down. No, she's mine! <laughs> oh, doctor, please, give Mrs. McDonald back to us. No, it's not McDonald, it's McConnell. McDonald? Over 30 billion souls. <laughs> Want us marches? I knew I should have been a plumber. <laughs> Look, uh, nurse, I uh, think I'm gonna need your assistance here, all right? <laughs> Come on, let's go. Wait! Hey. Don't you realize you're up six stories? Oh, I love stories. Get back! Get back! Get back! I will come over here and you don't know where it's been. I'd like to thank you all for coming, and I, I promise we'll make it darn good, Miss America. Be careful. There's a lot of gravity down there. Come on, jump! No! You jump! Um, I better get them before they fall. No, stay back! How dare you are! 
Mr. Burnett. Yes, I had a feeling you were on this floor when we found Dr. Brody in the closet wearing underwear and striped suspenders. <laughs> Do you know this maniac? Uh, he's okay. His friend Mindy McConnell got mixed up with a patient named Mavis MacDonald. Oh, her name is Mindy. Mindy, 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 Mindy. Now for my first dive. A four and a half gainer with a full twist summy. <laughs> I'm so glad you did that. You know why? Why? Because I can't swim. <laughs> <laughs> But I think I've had enough. Oh, oh. <laughs> you know, if you have any more, we're gonna send you home in a freezer bag. <laughs> freezer. <laughs> freezer bag. You know, Minnie should be sore for only about a day, and I'll be sore for about a week. Why are you sore? Well, the nurse bit me back. <laughs> you know, this whole rigmarole proves what I always say. You gotta be sick to go in a hospital. <laughs> so simple, yet so meaningless. <laughs> You know, I just can't believe we had all that trouble over a typographical error. Funny, there were no typos on the bill. <laughs> oh, well, speaking for my future profession, first I want to apologize. But despite what happened, doctors and nurses really do want to help. I think you probably got to help them by keeping your eyes open, asking questions. Especially if you fear for your life. <laughs> you know, Min, I'm glad I saved you from that brain surgery. Because if not, I'd be sitting here right now eating ice cream with someone I didn't know, and that someone would be you. No more. What would I do without you? Oh, uh, probably be sitting somewhere in front of a mirror, watching yourself drool. <laughs> more calling Orson. Come in, Orson. More calling Orson. Come in, Orson. Mark calling Orson. Come in, Orson. <laughs> Hello, Bart. Oh, your corpulence, you sound sick. Very observant, Bart. Well, why haven't you gone to one of the health clowns? All the ones nearby are broken. Oh. I've been trying to find a doctor, but none of them can afford me. You won't believe this, sir, but on Earth, people pay doctors. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, I know. Without sick people, doctors would have nothing to do. Oh, I know that, your lumbership. But I've learned on Earth this week that staying healthy is like everything else in life. It all depends on how much money you have. Were you ill? Oh, no, no, sir. Mindy was, but she's all right now. I had to rescue her from a hospital. What's a hospital? Well, a hospital's a place where Earthlings are interred while they're sick, and they're not released until they give the hospital all their money. It sounds like a jail. Well, sort of, sir, except the food is worse. I guess if you get sick on Earth, you're doomed. Oh, no, no, sir. You see, most doctors and hospitals are quite good. But I also realized this week that while it's tough to be sick, it's also tough to be a doctor. See, after all, to err is human, but most people won't allow doctors to be human. Until next week, sir. Nanu.